All right, boys, welcome back to another video here today. We got some breaking news for you guys. It's going to be a pretty much, I don't know how I'm going to make this video, okay? I might make it a short video, but I want to go over a lot of talking points in this one. So just make sure to stick around to the end just so you're aware of everything I have to say. <laughs> here today, I have very, very important info for you guys, and I have some things to say. So again, subscribe up. It does help out a ton. We're almost there now to 13.8K. We've cracked 13.7 and obliterated it. We're literally on the edge to 13.8, so if you'd like to subscribe, consider doing so. If you haven't already left a like, please do so as well. The new parrot meme shall now play. Again, debate in the comments. New parrot meme versus old one. We need to decide. With no further delay, let's jump straight into it and let's talk about everything. The breaking news is, in fact, Aizawa is our next banner. You are seeing it via this screenshot. I have no idea where this ended up. For me, currently, it's not in my game. But it looks like it just was upon the reset. I think maybe EU got it. But again, I don't know what the timing for EU was. Maybe they went into downtime right after. So again, right now, that's a little bit of a blurry line for me. But I will say it. Yes, it looks like, yeah, Aizawa is your next banner. Now, I want to say one more thing. If you watched a video from me previously, it was like four days ago, three days ago. I said Aizawa is my next banner or the next banner, right? And when I said that, everyone disagreed with me. They said that you're just speculating. I literally said it because it's obvious why Aizawa is going to be the next banner. And again, first of all, can I get a vouch in the comments that, you know, <laughs> I was like literally the first person to talk about that. And then, you know, everyone just, you know, started saying the same thing. But it's fine. But here today, I need to talk about this because I told you one thing with this banner and why I said I know the devs will do this. The reason they did it in the end is because they gave you Aizawa for free, correct? You now probably are sitting there either with 70, 60, 50, 40, uh, probably nothing below that. 90, 80, or eight, not 90, but 80 shards of Aizawa. That's where you're currently at. They already, or most of you also, will own him if you wailed out, if you dolphin or whatever. So again, for you guys, this is the biggest bait banner ever. This is just really, it's like the devs are like, you know what? We have all of this premium currency currently floating around the game. Everyone's about to get their refund really soon. How can we go and uh, drop something that won't hurt us in the long run? They're going to drop I Aizawa. That's what, that was my entire talking point in the video. It's just obvious how they're going to do it, given... They want you to get rid of that currency, okay? You've already, you, you know, they made a mistake, okay? They messed up. They had uh, they had dropped this entire Endeavor event, and it goes to show that it was just that predictable, right? It was just that obvious that, yes, they're going to make Aizawa the unit. And again, think of it exactly like this, okay? They gave it away for free already. They've already done this. They did this entire thing. It was a celebration to, like, you know, launch the game properly. Uh, yes, most of us didn't even get it. But there are a good amount of people that did walk away. People that dolphin, people that just went into a top-up bundle, people that just went into uh, and got lucky. There's so many people that got it, right? So again, I will say the majority will be 40% to 60%, 60% not receiving it, 40% receiving it. That, you know, 40% kind of has been, you know, increasing given uh, there's a lot of people that have been walking away with them recently given they've started new accounts, they retried, they re-rolled on multiple accounts at one time. So many different things have occurred. So Aiza was kind of out there. Now, What's going to happen is people tend to just go and summon right away. If you have Aizawa, I wouldn't be shocked that you're going to try and get him again. Given, you know, you got Aizawa already. It's like, oh my god, I'm so close to SS. I'm just going to go for it. They've done it very well where they're going to make most people spend their premium currency given it's Aizawa, first of all. And again, it doesn't hurt them. The devs did this very properly. They did it very smart where most people are going to be like, oh my god, Aizawa. I can get it for free again. I just got my Endeavor currency. Oh my god, this is the greatest thing ever. But honestly, again, the devs played it very smart. I will say that right now. Uh, it's going to ma mainly bait down everyone. I did a video last time when I talked about it and they all said, or my comment section said, yeah, I'm summoning for uh, Aizawa regardless of anything. Even though I have him, I'm going to put all of my tickets in, see if I can get him. If I can't get him, I raise my pity. So again, really, we will see how this goes, but it does show you that I was right about that and how the devs have played it. It's just, you know, they're going to bait out the 46 or however many tickets they gave you for free from Endeavor. And again, is it really bait? You can decide that now. Aizawa is a really good character. It's, you know, nonetheless, will I summon for him? Definitely not, okay? After what happened with the entire first event, it's kind of burnt out my even, like, wanting of Aizawa. I don't even want him, right? I don't even want to go and, you know, spend whatever free uh, tickets I have. Either I'll go 20 into the banner. If I don't get him, I'm just going to save it up. I'm not going to even go towards the pity uh, because let's say I do pull him another multi. Well, because again, I get 46 tickets. I'll do my 20. If I don't get him, it is what it is. I will wait until the next character being, if it's Stain, if it's Shigaraki, then I will go and summon for them. Just that's my entire plan. But it's up to you. What are you guys going to do? I want to kind of know in the comment section how you're going to do it. Aizawa is a very good, uh, you know, PvP character. For Super Arena Co-op Battle, he isn't as great. But again, PvP, that's where he shines. Now there's going to be a surplus of Aizawa's running everywhere. Given again, most of you will spend your uh, premium currency that you just got from the Endeavor event 
over there and again also realize one more thing it looks like they do state right here let me just go and show you um so this ends on 6 30 right this is practically when you'll get it and then the aizawa banner will start just make sure you guys get your uh, entire currency right away i don't think it's gonna happen where it's like the same day it could be i could be wrong uh, but I just see it maybe taking a few more hours, a few more, you know, days, who knows. Just keep that in mind. Also, before you guys go and, you know, have the downtime, uh, or not the downtime, just tomorrow before the day resets, please go and screenshot how much you have just in case, you know, randomly uh, some go missing here and there. It's happened on many other games, so I'm just saying it now. Please take a screenshot before. You've seen me in a video multiple times showing 46, so if I don't get 46, I'm going to go and uh, riot. I'm just kidding. But yeah. There you go. That's really been it. I want to also say I was right. I was correct. I said it properly that Aizawa would be next given they would like to bait people out. They're going to make people spend their tickets. People that have already got him. People that haven't got him already. It's going to make them feel like, dude, oh my god, we have another chance to get him for free. Oh my god, that's insane. So yeah, in the end, I guess you can say the devs kind of won. Will you take this as a dub? That's your decision. It's, again, PvP. He's a good character. But I will be uh, saving up probably for somebody else. And uh, that being either Stain, Shigaraki, those are two of my favorite characters again. Probably that's how I'm going to go about it. It's going to be also a seven-day banner. Keep that in mind for anyone wondering. It's not a regular banner. It's a seven-day banner. So again, it looks like it's pretty uh, pretty much a bait. I wouldn't be shocked if they do the seven-day banner. And then right after that, they go straight into another premium character. So keep all of this in mind when you're summoning. There's probably going to be another premium banner right after this one. I'm probably going to edit this section of the video earlier into it. So again, it's a seven-day banner. Whatever I say after this, I have no idea how it's going to edit out to be. But seven-day banner, okay? What that means is I'm not going to be shocked if they go straight into Shig uh, Shigaraki, if they go straight into Stain, or any other character right after this. Given usually we do the three-week period, and this hasn't been three weeks, yet, it's been two weeks, Endeavor ends, then seven days later, it should start another premium banner. This time, they're just doing a seven day. So again, keep all of this in mind. It's looking like they're doing something pretty smart. So yes, after this, expect another premium banner right away. But then again, maintenance will be starting. Tokoyami's banner will drop as well. Uh, we currently have like, what, five hours till the NA maintenance starts. I think the EU one has already gone into downtime. So we will have another video out shortly when the maintenance ends. I think that's like in six hours. So we have some time. I will go and uh, drop a video then talking about what happens with the maintenance. But they also, if you didn't know already, they also went and threw support cards. They kind of revealed it early too. They dropped this yesterday, I believe so. I think it was yesterday exactly. If you scroll, or if you go to collection, you scroll all the way. They dropped the Aizawa sh uh, card. Where is it? Wait, 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 wait. It's right. Oh my god. Where? There you go. They dropped these a little bit early. So this was yesterday, I believe. It was added into the game. So technically speaking, I made a video four days ago. Don't say anything. But yeah, yesterday this was added into the game. So again, but yeah, maybe we could take a look into this next time and see if there's a character that's announced. They also have Minus here. I think Minus is always there. And they have the other active card for Aizawa. So yes, he will have two uh, passive cards and then he will have an active card for you guys to go and summon for. I think mainly we already knew that. There you go. That's been it for me. Thank you again for watching. Peace out, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day. Have a fabulous one. Best of luck on your summons and best of luck on your grinding. Have fun during maintenance. I'll catch you guys later on. And uh, I'm out.